Hello, it's Dale here. Today I'm going to show you uh, what I've been doing with the paper bag. This is like, just to show you the bag, it's one of those big paper bags. This is the part that you see at the bottom. So it's a big carry bag and we have quite a few. I've just opened it up and cut that off and I thought I would decorate. I'm not actually going to make anything today, but I am going to. But just to show you what I've done, I've used my uh, wax crayons, my, uh, sorry, my oil, oil pastels, the Sennelli oil pastels or if you have a different brand, but you can see how, because they are waxed, and I just uh, drew all over them. And then I used, when I finished all that, because it's fairly matte and um, when it's finished, and then I just colored all over the top with a Starburst spray, and it's Yellow Rose of Texas, and it's got that gold mica in. So you can see how it affects uh, the whole paper. And I'm going to use it to make something. I haven't quite decided, but I will in the next few days. So that's how much fun you can have colouring a surface. Now you can colour your surfaces with paint or whatever you've got, but this is what I am using. So for my next one, I same size piece of same paper bag. And this time I used all my crayons, my uh, oil pastels in square in shapes um, and I used every practically every one in the pack and then when I finished I scrunched it all up like so and I've done this before and then I took stays on and I'm using black but any color stays on you have and I like stays on because that's what it does it stays on and I just ran over the ridges so I could you can see how it colors up what's there and I could also follow this up by using a, uh, a metallic wax, but I haven't today. But, you know, you look around and see what you've got when you're doing anything like this. And this, so when you scrump it all up, you see it shrinks a little bit. So this one here I'm going to use for something, not quite decided, but it'll be in conjunction with the other one. And for the third one, I took stamps, uh, letter stamps, and I collect letter stamps. And I'll show you some of them. You, they're sort of things that come and go in the shops and then disappear. And this is a lovely one I have, which has got the alphabet, uh, small and big. Uh, I've got lots and lots of letters. And this is another one that I've had for many years. Um, and I've counted around. If you've done a workshop with me, you probably recognise them. And I stamp on surfaces. I could stamp words or I could just stamp letters. And it's quite a lot of fun to just do letters. And I'd also like to share with you some of my other stamps because, as I said, a lot of people love letter stamps and it's very hard to get at times. But this is a special one that I've had for a long time. It's a redemption stamp. It came from people called Turtle Press and they've long since gone. But I love working with them. And they have a little set as well as a big set. And um, I suppose I've had them for about 15 to 20 years and they're still immaculate. Um, and I can you can use them with paint, of course or with um, uh, stamp pads or whatever you've got. And that also, because uh, I, I collect them, this is a lo another lovely one I got, the little hand. It's just even nice to pull it out with a little handle and to use it. Um, uh, I, this one may still be available. I bought it online somewhere. And when I was at a market, I got this little set. So it's just a matter of pottering around and finding them. People are always asking me where I get them from. Whenever I get them, I put them out for sale and they vanish off pretty fast. So this one here, I've stamped all over and then I spray, and I also wrote on it. Um, I just, this is this pen, I, this is what I use, the Micron, the Secura Micron pens, they're archival, etc. And I might have written a lot, but in this case, I've only written the words, words, words a few times. And then I sprayed the whole surface again. Uh, that's one of the colours, it's uh, canna lily burnt orange, but I've used greens and other bits and pieces and these sprays have different sorts of mica so sometimes they have golds and they have silvers and etc so it just makes another lovely surface uh, and I'll just finish by just coming to what I did to show you now that's again the spray like the very first one here and when you put the when you spray you colour on, the, the effects that you get, how it changes. This is a thinner paper bag, it's a little one, we have little paper bags. And then this one again is another sample of this one that I did here. And I've used, scrunched it up and used the stays on black over the top. Um, that's to me the most effective. And this is just another piece where I've used all different letters, different sorts of ones that I have. So, um, 
And then they're always there for when you want them for something else. And they're great, these sorts of ones are great for collage. And I'll deal with small, uh, fine papers, very fine papers another time. But this is a simple paper bag. So, you know, that's, uh, and next week, next time I'm here, I'll show you what I've done with them. I'm going to cut them up. They're quite sturdy. So I hope you've got a few little ideas from that. And have just have fun this week. See you again. Bye.